What's going on guys? It's G GBP baby. Welcome back to another video. It's currently 7:28 p.m. so this is going to be an early upload. Um but to be honest, I don't think much is left of the day that could possibly happen that's exactly going to make crazy difference to my analysis. You can see that pretty much all week we've just been heavily heavily consolidated um showing that we are waiting on that CPI that we have tomorrow. And that PPI that we have on Friday where I'm expecting the rest of the expansion. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that my bias all week has been to have low, to see a lower dollar. Th today, as in Wednesday, didn't really help much. Um, not much price action, just continuation of the consolidation. But I will just quickly draw, us, draw our attention to a couple of levels. Pretty much the same levels I drew out yesterday in yesterday's video. But um, we might have some new viewers, so it's always nice to welcome those so i'm drawing our attention to this consequent encroachment of this daily wick so long as price continues to respect this level i want to see dollar run down into the sell stops residing below here where we have sell side liquidity and then um, start reaching into this daily bullish order block that we have up here now more and deeper than that like as it, let's say we do reach down into this bullish order block i'd be then looking at this volume imbalance that we have from last week that was residing right here as a potential target let's say price doesn't trade lower and we start trading higher above this level in that case i'd simply start looking at this bearish order block here to be traded to and i'll start looking for a potential run into the buy side liquidity up here however overall i'm going to continue with my bearish bias purely because purely because we're one respecting this 20 this 50 percent level which is consequent encroachment and you can also see that we're volume is respecting the 25 percent level so Although we've wicked below this level, I'll show it'll show us now. Let's make this one blue, make it dashed. So although we're respecting the although the fifty percent level is being completely respected by the wicks, you can see the twenty-five percent level volume is respecting this level. So there is, you know, a level of bearishness that's being shown from this level. So that's why I have my eyes set on it. And so, like I said, so long as price continues to respect that. Um, I'm not really too concerned about price trading higher. But it's okay if it does. Like I said, it can do it. It's not that price can't do it. But um, overall, I've got a bearish bias. And another thing to take note of is the fact that this, since this swing high has been taken out from last week, I don't really want to see price push higher on there. But we'll simply just have to wait and see. So yeah, CPI tomorrow. Make sure you stay safe. And I'd like to think that we can see a continuation to the downside. Um, let's go to GBP. We'll start on the daily. Again, GBP is very similar in regards to its consolidation, a lot of heavy consolidation. Um, I am going to bring our attention to this inversion fair value gap, which I've been drawing our attention to all week. And you can see our price. Again, we've traded down to it another time today on Wednesday. We took out yesterday's low. So we're constantly trading down into this level and volume seems like it's going to constantly close above it. So again, so long as volume closes above this, I'm happy for us to look for a run into the relative equal highs we have here, here and these. So we have a nice buy side liquidity pool residing right there. Let me just write buy side. We'll make that thickness there and we'll put that on the right. And then at least we know when we drop down to the lower time frames, we have that buy side liquidity uh, marked out as a potential run. We have this high as well, which is a weekly high. These two highs, we've got buy side liquidity up here. But um, I'm not really looking at that until we trade to this target. So this is why I have my eyes set on in the near term. Let's drop down to the four hour. You can see again, a lot of back and forth price action. Pretty much everything I explained yesterday. We came down, took out yesterday's low, and then we expanded higher. This, as soon as we traded above this high. So what I'm watching is this level. The fact that we traded above this high and closed and then came back into it one more time, I'd like to see continuation of upside delivery now to the relative equal highs and to this uh, fair value gap that we have here on the four hour. I am, going to, I am going to bring our attention to it. I'm not going to drag it all the way out, but I do have my eyes set on this fair value gap right here as a draw for price. So that's where I think it's leading to. So again, so long as we continue to respect this candle, because like I said, we traded through it aggressively after taking out sell stops, closed above it, traded down into it, and now you can see we're starting to see upwards delivery, which is um, in line with our bias. Let's just drag that out actually. 
Let's see if we can reach into there again. If we say trade through it, then I can start looking for a run up into even higher prices. But until then, I want to see, can we reach this level? Finally, we're going to go to Euro. Um, let's start with the weekly again, see what we can find. Again, not much happen, not much happening, a lot of consolidation. One thing to take note of, we've traded lower and we've respected the 50% level of this wick. Look at that beautiful reaction off of that. So the fact that we're respecting the 50% level says that we're likely going to want to hunt for higher prices. My bias, yes, we have a bearish order block here, but the fact that we're looking for buy side liquidity, I'm looking for more external liquidity. And that would mean that I'll have my eyes set on this rejection block as a level for us to draw up into. Let's drop down to the daily and see what we can find. So we've had a quite a bullish day today. You'll see that the euro didn't take out yesterday's low, which is quite interesting. Again, showing a level of bullishness. It'll be nice to see if we can take out Monday's high and then of course Friday's high running up into that rejection block and this daily bearish order block where I'd expect to see a reaction. So right now, um, I'm pretty much just bullish on Euro. Let's see on the four hour. You can see we've had a nice large close above, um, which is nice to see. Watching this candle now. Let's see how we treat this level. We can draw out the 50% level again. So as long as price respects this candle, because it's the last... How do I explain this? We closed above this bearish order block, right? So this bearish order block should now act bullishly, basically. We've traded into it one more time. But again, generally speaking, moving into the new day and the rest of the week, so long as price respects this candle, like so, and we stay within this range, then I'm happy to expect to run up into that rejection block, like I said, residing up here and above this high. So it's really that simple, guys. Let's say price just turns around right now. Right now. Let's say, let's, let's say price turns around right now and starts delivering down aggressively that's fine i'd expect to run down below here and then we have a beautiful order block that we can start to work our way towards so there is two biases however i'm very there is two um outcomes however if it's going to go lower it's going to have to be a crazy a crazy event for us to go higher i think it's much more likely um because it's in line with our dixie bias but obviously with cpi and ppi low probability it's the second week of the year and we can only wait so that's going to be everything guys i hope you found this insightful um again price has been very consolidated so again it's low probability in general we shouldn't be too we shouldn't be risking too much at all but like i said i'm watching this level now how are we going to treat it are we going to respect it is price going to continue showing a willingness to go higher are we going to run these highs like that's what i'm looking for to see if we can reach into that weekly rejection block i just marked out earlier so that's going to be everything guys thank you for watching don't forget to smash subscribe smash subscribe hit subscribe press the like button leave a comment if you've got any questions follow me on twitter at gbp baby and i'll catch you in the next one peace